Um, eight and a half thousand here in Manchester. Um, all maybe about to witness uh, some more darting history written by Michael Van Gerwen. If he avoids defeat here against James Wade, that's 44 games on the TV unbeaten. That would be uh, a heck of a record beating Phil Taylor's record going back some 12, 13 years of 43 games unbeaten. That's how good Van Gerwen has been. His last TV defeat coming in the, uh, the final of the Champions League in Cardiff against Phil Taylor back in September. He continues to rewrite the record books, Rob. Yes, he certainly does. An incredible dark player now, and believe it or not, it was only six years ago he had a problem that could hardly win an argument, to be quite honest. He's put that right, and now one of the toughest, if not the toughest, dark player on the planet to beat. He's going to set this first leg up pretty good. I mean, James Wade, as Wayne said, one of the great players on doubles, and just over the 100 checkout, he can be lethal. So Michael's got to make sure that he doesn't give Wade too many chances. 91. Yeah. James Wade nicks more legs than anybody else in world arts. Double 12, double 6 for Van Gerwen. Well, is this the outside chance that James Wade has taken so often? Yep, another one of those for double 6. But it's the ball for Wade. 101. Chance. Oh, straight in. He wasn't going to let Wade come back to the dartboard, was MVG. And that's got to go down as one chance to break the throw of Van Gerwen. Bullseye. Different game all of a sudden. He got a little bit of control. However, this man was 3-0 down to Phil Taylor last week, and then all of a sudden got the turbo put on and uh, run away with it in the end. So Wade is going to have to make sure he holds on to his throw strongly, otherwise we could end up with the same sort of match here. 100. I think Van Gerwen felt the pressure, didn't he, of the occasion in Rotterdam. It took him some time to go. Here we have it. And counting... 43 matches, 2004, 2005, Phil Taylor had 43 games unbeaten. His run was ended by Nine John Part three. in the quarter-finals of the World Match Play nearly 12 years ago. And Michael Van Gerwen here 59. on the cusp of more history. Perfect first dart from James Wade, needs to follow it up, needs the 140. Oh, he's going to be disappointed with that. It opens the door, believe it or not, for Van Gerwen. Oh, and this looks good for a 180, Stuart. 140. Tantalising finish, isn't it? Hanging in front of Michael Van Gerwen here. 104. Double 18. Just on the top wire. Where do you feel? We'll have to get this. Well, he's going to have two darts. Oh, no, it's only one dart. That's unusual for James Wade, but he needs the tops now, and another dart's gone big, and that's got to go down as a massive mistake from James Wade, and one we don't see very often. Wow. Mistakes from both players. Got away with one. Welcome back to the Premier League from Manchester in the opening match of the night, Michael Van Gerwen against James Wade. All level through the opening two legs, the pair continued to trade blows through the next two. This is now the fifth.
59. Really enjoyable. Of course, these two, the, Rod, they've been around for ages. James Wade, still only 33. Van Gerwen celebrates his 28th birthday next month. Oh, that was a chance for Wade. First dart, straight in the treble 20, and he doesn't follow it up. And you know he's going to get punished for it. He's not going to get many chances, many openings to break that throw of Van Gerwen, and that was one of them. Stick in a 140, get a bit of control, put a little bit of pressure on. Wade is one of the players that does not go for the 19s too often. Would rather try and squeeze a dart into the treble 20. Oh, he's got a switch now. That's another superb setup from Michael Van Gerwen. Yeah, 106 average for the world number one, the world champ, the Premier League champ. And maybe the record breaker tonight here in Manchester. Five legs, five terrific legs, all one on throw. It was a big win, wasn't it, for Van Gerwen in, in Rotterdam? Definitely felt the pressure in the early stages, but. Seven legs out of eight against Taylor. Well, I have to say, Stu, when, when Phil Taylor went 3 0 up, you know, you're thinking the, the Taylor of old was going to come out, but he just kind of wilted. I know Michael stepped it up a bit, but Taylor's no, never been one to back down from a, a fight on the hockey, and he couldn't find anything. 41. Well, this time it's Van Gerwen's turn to miss a really good opportunity. We'll have to switch back surely now. 98. He took the gamble there, didn't he? He did. Because if he'd hit a single 20, he wouldn't have left to finish. <laughs> Brilliant darts from Van Gerwen. Last four legs, he's hit 180, 177, 171, and now a second 180. Well, he's not going to check it out, so Wade's going to come back for around that figure that we say he's one of the best in the game. Three dart combination, just over the 100. Two darts at the treble 20. Oh, now 16 for his favourite top to hold on to his throw. Mega important dart for Wade. You could see the anger in James Wade's face. Just a little bit of tension and pulled it low. Double nine. 23. Oh, chances missed by Van Gerwen again to break the James Wade throw. Again, James Wade comes back and double ten. Bails him out of a spot of bother. But that's two legs on the way through. The Van Gerwen, in total, has missed six darts to break Wade. Yes, Wade, he's walking the tightrope a little bit on his throat. However, Whoa. now's the time to stick in the sucker punch and take the Van Gerwen throw. Well, it's going to be a lot harder now. Intriguing, isn't it? This is why we love the Premier League. Terrific start to the night here in Manchester. And Gerwin plays twice. It's Taylor against uh, Peter Wright. And, of course, defeats for Yella Klassen and Kim Hybrex against Adrian Lewis and Gary Anderson, respectively, mean it's the end of the line for them. So much at stake. Oh, another one of those. Oh, that is superb darts from James Wade. He's going to come back from a three, for a three-dart combination. And this would be that sucker punch I talked about. A one, two, one. He's already missed the bullseye for one, two, six in the very first leg. Seventeens will leave him the ball. Oh no, he's not. Close, but no cigar. Yeah, 
Well, double six again come to the rescue for Van Gerwen. Seven scintillating legs, all one on the throw. Who will crack first? 96. It's very rare in the Premier League that you get a draw with all 12 legs, one on the throw. 60. Very rare. I have to say, but if uh, it was a six-all draw, this man, James Wade, would say thank you very much. He did the right thing early on in the Premier League, put points on the board, took the pressure off himself 60. to avoid you know, elimination, and then he's got to push on after that. The way coming into night eight here in Manchester in third place. Eight points. Sixty. Sixty. Well, another missed chance for Michael Van Gerwen. So now James White cannot afford to have another poor visit. Looks like it's not going to be. Oh, that's unlucky. However, he may get six starts. Well, he will get six starts, I would think, from 150. 140. James require 150. Well, how many times over the last four or five years of the Van Gerwen glory years have we seen him take out finishes like this? Well, again, the pressure, just in case. And again, double ten. Bails him out of trouble. Yes, you have to say, he's been poor on the double tops, pulling those darts low, but double ten has come to his aid every single time. Why would you be thinking, just throw a 12-dart leg in here, and then all of a sudden, I've got control. And that's not well, a bad start. He's going to have to find one more of those, or a maximum. 100 well, perfect timing for Van Gerwen. 4 180s for the world champion. 100. 12 140s though, Stuart, that's impressive with the 4 180s. And you look at those stats as he hits number five. When you look at those stats, if you didn't know the score, you would think, well, you would imagine that Michael Van Gogh would be walking away with this. But it's a typical James Wade. It is. Just under the 100 average, but he's still in the race. Double eight then. 33. Well, he was on for an 11 dart leg, and all of a sudden, as you said, Rod, James Wade here, a 12 dart leg would win it. Yep. Bullseye for the first break. 96. Mike Lyric 1, 8. You really can feel the tension. 100. And you can see what that meant to Michael Van Gerwen. That was a nervy last start. Chasing doubles all round the board to force the twos. Right in the corner of double one. And James Wade would have been standing back, Stu, going, give me a shot at this, give me a shot. However, Mighty Mike was on the mark. And is this the turning point? It could well be a six maximum for the reigning Premier League champ. And a poor start to the leg from Wade. You can see the frustration. 100. Oh, he can't miss that, surely. Too good. Is Michael Van Gogh in the first start set those three up, and we are on the nine. It would be the first one of this year's Premier League. It'd be ironic that it would be the world number one that's going to do it.
109. Well, no nine dart heroics for Michael Van Gerwen, but he's on a possible ten darter to break the way through. Huge moment in the match. And there it is, after nine legs, one on throw. The world champion strikes a huge blow. And all of a sudden, he's stepping up to throw for the match. That's his third 180 in two legs. And you look at his stats, 106 average, 12 140s, eight 180s for Michael Van Gogh. However, Stu, only 27% on his doubles. How? Big would that average be yep. if you stick that up to 50%? Well over the 110, so scoring power is right on line. There's testament to James Wade that he's still in this game as well. Well, no big scores from Michael Van Gogh in the first couple of legs, so all his, all his huge uh, scoring has come uh, from leg Whoa. three onwards. 8 180s, the 177, the 171, a couple of 11 darts as a 12 dart leg. 96. Well, MVG is going to get six starts to put a win on the board when he's his first game. Oh, he may not get those six starts. James Road leaves 121 for the third time in this match. Missed the bullseye on the first two occasions. So one, two, six on the bullseye. The 180 put the pressure on Van Gerwen, didn't it? Great response from Wade. Is this the moment for the bull? And another chance. Double ten. Well, that's one way of doing it, and Michael Van Gerwen in style with a 120 finish to go top of the table. And history for Michael Van Gerwen here in Manchester. It's now 44 matches unbeaten in major TV events. It's a new world record for the world champ in Manchester. Commentary for this match comes from Wayne Mardle and Rod Studd. Wow, yeah, what a way to start. Ooh, what a way to reply. Touché! What a start. Well, oh, it's all right, isn't it? Rod said about getting out the gate quick. Can you get out any quicker? Wow. Well, they were jostling at the gate. Lucky. Well, two 180s in the first leg, one apiece. Michael Van Gerwen had eight on his own in his win over James Wade. That not the most in a Premier League match. That record still held by Gary Anderson with 11 against Simon Whitlock in 2011. Maybe he fancies breaking it. 100. Give him a 160. Well, first up, going low. Scupper Kim's chances of even a decent setup. A little 11 dart leg. 12 darts! Superb start from the twice world champ and twice Premier League champ. Indeed. Well, with all the pre match chat about Kim Hybrex and indeed Yellow Class, and later on tonight needing at least a point to survive. Almost overlooked that Gary Anderson, in a very congested table, Mark Yu, is down in seventh spot. With plenty of time to, to catch up, he won't be relegated, obviously, so he's got another seven matches to follow after the first phase, but he, he doesn't want to be dropping points here, there and everywhere, does he? Well, no, you, you mentioned how congested it, it is, and if he does win, he will shoot himself up to third. So, every point counts, as they say, and it really does. But a word's got to be said about Kim Ibrex. Yes, this uh, Premier League hasn't worked out for him. And it's very, very likely he will be eliminated. But more important things is mother's not well at all. And uh, thoughts are with Kim and his family. Going through turmoil right now. So darts is the uh, furthest thing from his mind, I can assure you. Yeah, 
Yes. More important things in life than darts. Ibrex here. Looking at 202 and looking to knock a not a hole, but a chasm in it. Well, had that gone in, it would have left double eleven. But well, we've seen Michael Van Gerwen at 180 to leave double one. He's gonna come back for 62. We've seen you do that as well. <laughs> well, that's okay, it's a miss, but it's not catastrophic. This leaves tops. And that's a lovely finish from Kim Hyabrex, really Kim is. A break well, back. One each. Him on. Yeah, he's not played bad in this Premier League. But the chances he's created, just not taken. 123. He played in the 2015 edition. Kim Hyabrex, where he finished bottom there. 135. Ten. He's currently ninth. Needs a point at least, otherwise he will be eliminated. 57. Well, he's picked up draws in and amongst, hasn't he? But it's just he just can't win games, and uh, he's only won one ever in the Premier League in 16 attempts as Anderson hits his second maximum. Yeah, that was against Barney, wasn't it? Yeah. 140. Harry went through a phase where he actually said, I, I can beat anyone, but 56. not Kim Hybrex. Well, it was never that bad, Gary. It was never that dire. But he obviously felt that Kim had something over him. Let's put that to bed. 140. Good, Good game, this. Well, Anderson, having been favourite for the leg two turns ago, now needs double five to win it. Game's on the third leg. What a finish, and Kim well, Hybrex, that's exactly the kind of thing you were talking about, Wayne. Hybrex giving himself every opportunity, living a two-dart finish that he felt he'd be back for, and his opponent then rattles in the 1-3-0. Yeah, there's not a lot you can do, is there? Gary Anderson averaging 114.22, 112 now after that visit. Yes, Anderson averaging 113. And well, this season in the Premier League, he's had a three-figure average in every match bar one and has yet only managed to win a couple of games. Yeah. Against Barney last week, he was good, he was great. He was incredible for, for us mere mortals, but against Peter Wright, that was the one. That was a phenomenal game. We got nothing out of it. That was when Peter rattled in 119. 140. Every leg so far has gone against the darts, but now Anderson in pole position to hold and establish a two-leg advantage and a vice-like grip on this match here in Manchester. Well, that's not going to give you a vice-like grip, Gary, is it? 59. <laughs> a recovery with the T19, but even so. Bullseye or an 18, treble. 134. Thinking Kim. For 3 1. Tops. 65. Just looked effortless, didn't it? Kim Rukar, 128. Will he be back for tops? Another there. Brilliant for double 10. Oh. 108. And well, he couldn't return serve from Anderson's big check out in the leg before. The and there leg. in Anderson. lies the difference. The leg before, Anderson went on. out to crush Hybrex's hopes of a relatively simple finish. The role's not reversed. He missed the double, Anderson didn't. 100. Indeed. Credit to Kim, he's just going about his business, throwing as well as he can, which he's very good. 102, Kim. 82. Excellent follow through. Forceful. 135. Gary averaging 111. He's not doing a lot wrong, Gary Anderson. And we know what damage he can do when he plays well. 92. He wins world titles. Well, he towed the hockey a point in front. 97. Added 97 to it. And Hybrex with an average himself of over 100. 
best average game against Michael Van Gerwen a couple of weeks ago and he averaged 101.72 and it wasn't enough. Well, probably go 48. Another one. 89. Good setup. Yeah, he's just getting in front of Kim by those one or two darts now. That's the difference at this level. If you can get a dart in front, most legs, it's likely that you'll be punished. Wow! Kim require 53. Well, fair play to Hybrex. His last visit kept him in with a squeak. Got to hit it. Oh, he's wired it. Well, Anderson's single 15 means this isn't quite as simple, but he has two at double two, and now one at double one. No score. I wonder if we're witnessing a turning point in the match here. Not yet. Maybe now. Game show the fifth leg. Kim Hybrex. Gary so made a real mess first. of that. It looked like a bit of a slip with the last dart they hit the 15 because the dart certainly well, didn't travel 14. correctly. That's so why it just kind of slapped into the 15 and damage was done. But yeah, credit to Kim. Hit the 140, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did indeed. Anderson, in the end, missed five darts at double there to establish a double break and a 4-1 advantage. Still has the break in hand. As he looks for the win that would eliminate Kim Hybrex a week early. 45. He needs at least a point to keep in the frame with his uh, final game being against Peter Wright. 100. It's Dave Chisnell that Hybrex or Yellow Klaassen can catch, and their hopes are enhanced by the fact that Chisnell has got to play Michael well, Van Gerwen in Cardiff. That's the, the hope they're clinging 21. to. Didn't even consider 59. going for the 51. Well, a 140 or 180 here would put pressure on Gary. Superb. It's Kim Hybrex, seventh, 140. Will it count? Will it matter? Tops. 42. Kim requires 76. Well, it may do. It certainly matters. Will it count? Tops says it does. 36. Another wire Gary wobbler that could have levelled up the match. But Anderson will tell you this is not his favourite double. That's not anyone's favourite double up there. He the gets the job line. done, last dart Anderson. in hand. Like yeah, just get the feeling that the pressure will mount as well on Kim. He knows the score. He knows that a defeat will mean that, like you quite rightly said, Rod, there's no well, judgment night. 14. It will just simply be week nine to him. And he won't play from then on. 45. Well, the difference between ninth and tenth is £30,000 or £25,000, so there's still a five grand discrepancy if he can stay above class, even if he doesn't make it through as he hits his second maximum. 14. But still second favourite in the leg. Oh, brilliant. This grouping's been good. Four. Tops. Oh. Just when you think you've given yourself a chance. Five two. To the flying Scotsman. Was pulled into Manchester. Next week, he'll be on the rails to Cardiff. 57. And then the second phase of the competition will start, and Anderson will be vying with Peter Wright for second favouritism behind Michael Van Gerwen. Looking very likely that Gary will move from. 99. Seventh spot to third. 
with these two points. And it is really congested. Well, There's going to be lots of jostling and chopping and changing of places over the next few weeks, that's for sure. 41. Well, the old champagne shot, the 132, and he's not going to go the Bull Bull 32. Double 12, though. Yeah, Wonderful finish, and Gary Anderson makes it a hat trick of three Anderson. finger out shots. That, the highest of the lot, following in the 130 and the 104. 140. Yeah, Gary Anderson takes seven darts that all missed to finish 40 and then can take out shots like that. 140. Well, the 132 takes Anderson to the brink of victory and pushes Hybrex to the brink of elimination. He must win the next four legs to stay 66. in the Premier League. But the big finishes may well have broken the Belgians' resistance. It's a very good performance, this, from Gary Anderson. 105 average. There's three whopping finishes, a couple of maximums to put into the ingredients that made quite a tasty recipe for the former world champ. 48. Must be nice for him to average over a ton and, and actually win a game. Just hasn't been good enough recently. He's been walking into it, Gary Anderson. 43. As Kim is well and truly buckled here. This could be over. Pretty soon, if Gary can hit a treble, 55. which he can't. Kim Chance for Kim to keep this alive. Well, can Anderson make it 1-3-2 and 1-3-3 outs in consecutive legs? No. But he will be leaving a single dart finish, 53 left. 93, Kim 54. He's been coming low on this top, so... Well, he's going to get a dart at tops. Nice and high or in, Kim. 14, can you require 14? For a 7-2 win. Tops, yeah. now 10s, so that is it. Go Unfortunately, on. that 7-2 win for Gary Anderson eliminates Kim Hybrex. He will play next week in Cardiff, but he cannot make the cut. First leg is Peter to throw first. Game on. Commentary from Rod Harrington and Stuart Pipe. And eight and a half thousand here in Manchester. Ready for the battle, I'm sure. 43. Well, as Wayne said, Phil Taylor's not been on his game, and you said it as well, Stuart, over the last couple of three weeks. However, Peter Wright's not been at the top of his game either. What he had that great oh, exhibition in Exit 119.5, and then went on the following weekend and won the UK Open. And you thought he'd really push on, but he's just not at the ton plus averages Six. that we expected. And I, I mentioned on the stage, Stu, if Phil Taylor goes 3 0 up against Peter Wright in this game, it's a completely different game than it was last week. I mean, Phil Taylor will not do that again, I fear, and, and kind of just throw the towel in like he did in the end there. Let me ask you, how, how difficult mentally may it be for Peter Wright after finally getting the monkey off his back, after finally winning a TV major when people like you and I have been talking about it for many years, that, you know, he's due, he should win, and now he has... Is it a case of the, the weight off the shoulders and, and perhaps the intensity isn't the same? Well, in actual fact, I feel he should Six. be playing better because of the confidence. This game's all about confidence. You, you know, look in the practice room and you go along the board of all ten players and they're all smashing the treble 20, hitting 180s for fun and throwing nine yeah. darts in practice all the time. However, it's on that stage where it counts. And, of course, over this what we would call a relatively short format, if you start off bad, then all of a sudden the crowd are going to get on your back and everything, you start overthinking things. So, Peter Wright should be in the proper place at the moment. 137. Well, let's be honest, it's been a dreadful opening leg for Peter Wright. One hundred. And Taylor to break. Double eight it is. Okay, so on the first oh, it's a very leg, easy leg to win. 14 darts against the throw, but 
Peter Wright certainly not at the races. No, he didn't push Phil Taylor. He made it very easy, but you have to say a very tidy 14 dart leg for the tower. And now he just needs to push on. And this is where sometimes his game is not quite where it used to be. You know, he'd get this position, even though he's one leg up and against the throw, this is where it all of a sudden, this early on in the game, he would kick on. It's going to be interesting to see the next couple 81. of legs. But Peter Wright, I know we're only in the second leg, 74, Stuart. That's, uh, well, that's our sort of standard. It's at least twice mine, Rod. 140. <laughs> yeah, the reason I asked you that question about sort of the mentality of finally winning, you know, just sometimes, just for a little, just for a little while, trying to get, you know, get yourself what back up for. Uh, for matches, well, the honeymoon period, people call it. Um, you know, it does does mean something to a lot of people. They do get a bit of a dull patch, but I, I just expected Peter 59. Wright to play a little bit better than he has done over the last three weeks. Although saying that, he's a class player, and the last two weeks he's still won the matches, and that he is has. the sign of a real quality player when he's not playing at the top of his game, but he's still grinding the results out. See, that, that's 30. the difference in Phil Taylor. How many times would you see him hit darts like that? I mean, that's way off the mark for him. Well, Peter Wright's only defeat in the Premier League came way back on night two in 60. Nottingham when he was beaten by Van Gerwen. Since then, he's played extremely well. One four, drawn one. 100. Important leg, like this. 20. Neither player at their best. Not double top for Peter Wright to get himself Four back hundred. in the game. However, this is not a bad check out. The 120 is a great one, but so is this two darts at treble 20. Oh, no, that's not a bad stacker for Taylor. Double 16 for a two and a hold of throw. That hurts. That has hurt Peter Wright. Welcome back to Manchester, where Phil Taylor is enjoying the better of the early exchanges with Peter Wright. He leads by two legs. Wright hit back in the third, but Taylor held his throw in the fourth to maintain his advantage. This is now leg five. 100. If Taylor breaks his throw here, then he is in trouble. Well, both on 100 averages. However, Taylor with a two-leg lead at 3-1. Yeah, that one. Break of throw. In the opening leg. 100. He's having a problem with his first start, Peter Wright. He's not finding the, the treble bed enough. It's either about a quarter of an inch too high, or it's coming in low and he's having to try to pitch over the top of it. 97. He's only hit three 140s at the moment, and eight tons, and the eight tons are not going to be enough. Tons are never going to be enough against these players. And look at that dart. I mean, that, that's a wild one, a real wild one from Peter Wright. If you're just joining us, Kim Hybrex eliminated after losing tonight here in Manchester to Gary Anderson. Coming up next, Yella Klassen and Adrian Lewis. If Klassen loses, he is also out. And then Van Barneveld and Van Gerwen to round off week eight here in Manchester. 60. Well, neither player can really get a rhythm on the power scoring. 97. Well, we see Raymond van Barneveld do this last week against Gary Anderson at the crucial time. 
We will get six darts from here with Taylor on 162. 100. In Cardiff next week, Taylor plays Klassen. Peter Wright plays Hybrex. 83. Peter Iguar, 56. To stay in it, you would feel. It's on the fifth leg. Peter Wright. Just one break behind. Six leg, it's Phil to throw first. Him on. Well, you talk about the elimination, Stuart. If um, Yelly Klassen happens to get a point this evening, and with Dave Chisnell having a, a night off and coming back next week and playing Michael Van Gerwen, that could be a big problem as Taylor hits his second maximum of the evening. And believe it or not, Taylor hit more maximums in his match against Michael Van Gerwen last week, which is incredible. Well, anything you can do, Philip. Warming up nicely. 140. That's a great follow-up, though. And everybody wants to see that nine, but Taylor is laughing to the crowd. He knows, but the leg is so important. Just needs to keep control. Hang on to your throw, you can't lose. So he just needs to set this up. Can't afford a visit without a treble here, and he hasn't done, and that's perfect to set it up. Will he go for 25 to leave the 36, or will he go for the 15s? Well, terrific pressure Taylor on Taylor. So far, he's been up to the task on the doubles. And Peter Wright weren't watching. <laughs> he was messing around with his darts on the table. He weren't watching. He was waiting for the call at the shake. Shout game shot, and he hasn't. This is for a 10-dart leg to level the match. If you're going to miss, it's a perfect marker for right, and that's yeah, why. So what a great leg of darts from both players. Something Taylor missing two first. darts at a double to go two legs clear, Stuart. Is this the big turning point in this game? Well, remembering Rotterdam, he led Van Gerwen 3-0. He lost 7-4, he, he was 3-1 up. Um, Peter Wright has given us a level game. Big pressure on both. I mean, Taylor 100. to lose three on the spin would be a, a big blow to his hopes of of qualifying for the playoffs. You may remember 2015. He missed the semi-finals for the first time ever, didn't he? Wonderful from right. Yes, and a loss here, Stuart. For Phil Taylor, you'd have to say that. Uh, well, again, anything you can do. That's the second time this matched each other for 180s yep, in consecutive legs. Ninety. Well, slow start. They mean business now, all right. Yeah, interesting dart. The third one. 25 leaves you on five six. I sometimes think. Go for the treble 20 just 60. to get that extra points on the board. 1 2 1 is far better than the 1 3 1. However, Phil Taylor not putting any pressure on really. The 1 3 1 he's going to get six darts at. And he's going to set it up absolutely perfectly. Well, what a cracking shot this would be if Taylor could take the 1 6 1. Has to finish on the bullseye. Thirty-two. Now double sixteen for three legs on the spin. Well, it's awkward. You can see. Can he get through the flights? Sixteen. 
A let off for Phil Taylor. Now he'll go for 25. Must not hit the bullseye. Now it's double 18. Double 18 it is. That's the break of throw. And it's Peter Wright that misses doubles. Well, that's punishment, isn't it? Another terrific leg from Peter Wright. Right up until the last three darts, which he got horribly wrong. 140. Just felt that the pendulum was swinging the way of Peter Wright. But those missed doubles, again, could prove costly. Well, both 85. around the 102 average. Yeah, I mean, Taylor missed two darts of the double. Wright goes out with an 11 dart leg, which is absolutely perfect. And then after 12 darts, leaves himself 32, and you're thinking for the first time in the match, Wright is going to take the lead and perhaps push on. And then he missed three clear darts at the 16s. The first one made it awkward. You could, it was a great camera angle. You could see that the flight blocked three quarters of the bed. Well, no trouble on the trebles. It's 180s in three consecutive legs for Wright. Could be doubles. 140. It's not too far away, so Wright realistically needs two treble 20s. One's going to leave him perhaps a bit too much. Needs another one of those. 100. You can see that he need to get it up, so perhaps one... 6-4, he will have six darts from here. And he's going to need them. One hundred. It's your while one hundred and thirty-six. Fifty. Well, not the visit that he wanted, careless from Wright. Taylor here for a for daylight. Forty-eight. Now that second dart that Peter Wright through in the previous three was a little bit too quick and caused him to hit a five, which relates to him only perhaps having a dart at the bullseye. No, he's at the treble 18, so he's at double 16 again. He's already had three darts, now four in the last two legs. And again, a chance to get back in the match. And he's thrown away from Wright. Three out of ten on the doubles for Peter Wright. He's only got himself to blame, Peter Wright. Game on. He's missed big, big darts at double. Eight and a half thousand in Manchester. Peter Wright now will have to find his A game, certainly on the finishing. Hey, Roddy, he could be 5 3 up. Ifs and buts and coulds and shoulds. 140. A little bit more aggression than the Phil Taylor throw there. He can smell the finishing line. And he certainly ain't going to throw darts away like he did last week. He's in a good position. You would expect him to find at least one point out of this match now. And the Taylor of old, it will be a guaranteed two points. He's been terrific on the trebles. 180! Yeah, the last four legs, he's been exceptional he scoring has, power. He has four, four 180s in, in four legs for Peter Wright. 140! Peter Aguirre, 56. This is where he's had the trouble. Finishing, winning the legs. This time he's switched to tops. Now, same 46. result, three out of 12 now three on the doubles. Punishment 
This could be. It's not going to be, but this double five is not a given. 57. First dart aim for the top wants. wire. If you over pitch, perfect guide. If it just put it a little bit, it finds the double bed. Oh, that's a bit too far. That's a nervy dart from Peter Wright, you have to say. Very nervy nice darts. Ball. They were the first one was so, so far nice over pitched it didn't give him any line and length. Too cautious, maybe. Exactly, exactly too cautious. Tops for Taylor for a guaranteed point on the board yes, here in Manchester. Man. And that's well, exactly man. what Phil Taylor has done. Like well, you, you may be averaging 101 as Peter Wright hey, is, but when you miss 12 darts at double against Phil Taylor, inevitably you will be punished. And Peter Wright has been punished. Well, you look at the stats, it's a tidy performance from Phil Taylor. Three, four 180s now, over 102 average, 50% on doubles. Yeah, I think if you said to him before the match, and a bit of a smile on his face says it all, he can smell that finishing line. 45. Well, Taylor was well, well beaten in Rotterdam by Van Gerwen, so he knew he had to, to perform. The prospect of three consecutive defeats 57. didn't sit kindly on his shoulders. Another win for Taylor. He's back in the top four. 100. The point is enough. One more leg for two. Which puts the pressure on Van Barneveld and Lewis later on. Lewis against... Yella Klassen, Van Barneveld nice against six. Michael Van Gerwen. This looks like being only Peter six. Wright's second defeat in this year's Premier League. Yes, it was ironic earlier on, Phil Taylor missed two darts and double and, and it got right back in the game and then since then... Wright can't buy a double. With the seventh leg was absolutely crucial, wasn't it? Three darts at double 16 for 4 3 for Peter Wright. Um, those misses have been costly for Snakebite. Well, 140, but is it the last hurrah for Peter Wright? Fifty-six. You feel this has to go. You certainly do. Perfect lie. But would you just believe this? Of course you would after Peter missing Wright. twelve darts at double. Peter Wright somehow well, finds a one five first. six to stay in this match. <laughs> well, would you believe it? Well, we keep saying that Peter Wright's a class player and he keeps proving it time and time again. And, you know, he's having a really indifferent night on the doubles at 25%. And all of a sudden he pulls that, not just the 156, but it's the timing still. It keeps him in the match. Well, he's now got a hold and then break Taylor again. If Peter Wright gets a point out of this, it will be... 100. One of the best points he's earned, you can be sure. Well, that 156 is why we love this sport. Peter Wright couldn't buy a double for four or five legs, and all of a sudden, a magnificent finish. 100. Shows bottle, Stuart. Well, that's why he's one of the best in the business, Rob. Yeah, shows plenty of bottle. And all the events they're playing now, that they're getting the experience to stay what focused at crucial times and. and that's exactly what Wright has done. I mean, Taylor would have been standing there thinking, I'm going to get another three darts of this, two darts of a double. And all of a sudden you think, wow, what has happened here? And, and it's, it's thrown Phil Taylor 100. off his rhythm a little bit. So six darts from here for Peter Wright. Yeah, no need to go for the... Uh, 
the 1-2-1. One, one. It's all about the double 16, maybe the double 8, maybe even the double 4. 83. It's Uruguay, 32. He has missed a bat on this double 16, the left-hand side of the board, low left. On the, and the double play. 18 is straight in for the 156, well, and the double 16 is in cleanly. First. Now, all to play for. Phil Taylor steps up first, serving for the win. Now, one of the biggest legs of this year's Premier League so far. Not enough. Needed to match Taylor at the very least. Sixty. A let off. A big let off. However, a ton is not going to be enough. He's got to find a maximum. He's got to find a couple of one forties. Oh, that's a perfect dart. Another perfect dart. It's exactly what he needs, and that's exactly oh, what it? Peter Wright finds. Uh, what, what was it you were saying about bottle? Ninety-nine. Advantage, Peter Wright. You would feel in this deciding leg. How on earth has Wright managed to get himself back into this? All credit to him. Oh, I take my hat off to you, Peter Wright. This is magnificent. 140. He hasn't won it yet, though, Stu. May get a dart at the bullseye in returns, but a 140 here from Phil Taylor or a 180 throws the advantage back in Phil Taylor's part of the court. And that's exactly what he's done. Now, Peter Wright's taken out the 156. And a smile on Phil Taylor, and he's going, I bet he takes it out. That's what he's saying. Oh, how unlucky. Oh, you can see Phil Taylor's reaction there. That was so unlucky, the wrong side of the wire. 45. He's given it everything in this last leg. It may not be enough, he's relying on Taylor missing. Two darts at this for the match. Big win for Phil Taylor. Peter Wright will be hugely disappointed. He gave himself a chance to snatch a point. And Phil Taylor with a big, big win to go back into the top four. And for Peter Wright, only his second defeat of the Premier League campaign. Commentary for this match comes from Wayne Mardell and Rod Studd, but first, Dave Clock and Rod Harrington. Yes, it's a big game. David Lewis has come into some good form and rolled off some really low legs. Classen, you know, it's been documented he's got a bad wrist problem, may have to have an operation, but he's going to have to forget about that because, as you said, Dave, he needs one point, otherwise he'll be going home with Kim Hybrex. Lewis, as you mentioned, coming good at the right time. Only seven points, but two wins in the last two weeks. Yeah, that's the most important thing. You know, the form of late is what you go by. I mean, last week you rolled off three brilliant legs against Hybrex to get control of the game. And as you can see, Adrian Lewis' form improve and he's rolling off more and more legs. So as this Premier League comes to its conclusion, hopefully he'll be right on fire. Where more than Rod stood in commentary. Thank, Thank you, Dave. Yes, it's draw or better or bust for Yella Klaassen. For Adrian Lewis, when would catapult him back into the top four? Well, Klaassen was already feeling his wrist before the walk-on. So, who knows what pain he's in throwing the darts. What we have seen, generally, is he's played better at the start of matches and then, presumably, the pain has become so much that it's become impossible to throw with the requisite force. 134. Yeah, the darts need to be propelled. And unfortunately for Yella, he does have trouble. Just kind of flicking him from the wrist. Well, last week it was painful for Yella to throw, and it was painful to watch. 
So sad to see yellow throw like that. It is indeed. Adrian looking for a treble and a treble to leave. 170, making a mess of it. Oh, slow start from both. Adrian Lewis, if he can put in a big one here. Should be 82 left, shouldn't it? That was unlucky. Well, he's been the maximum man in the last few weeks, Adrian Lewis. He's hit 17 in the last three matches. 125, Adrian Bell, 122. Another. Double seven. Well, he was aggressive. Yellow card, 93. He's trying to leave his favourite, double 18. Lewis is trying to leave double two. Which he has, which he's hit. He's shown the first leg, Adrian Lewis. Second leg is Adrian to throw first. Yeah, when Yellow Klassen hit that 19, I, well, I personally thought he was going to go for the double to leave tops. He's done that before. 85. Adrian Lewis just not in a rhythm as yet. Well, perhaps the biggest problem for Lewis is he's turned up here tonight. He knows exactly what you and I know, is that Klassen's wrist is causing him problem, well, and he knows fortune. that everyone expects him to win in a common canter. Yeah. Which may not put you in the right frame of mind. 16. Can only be harder to play. Quite evident that Yellow Klassen cannot propel the dart in. So therefore, the accuracy is just not there. 59. Well, he picked off the treble 18 to give himself quite a chance here because Lewis isn't going to threaten the 160 out. Well, here's, here's a chance for Klassen. 60 for Bull. No. Oh, and then to add insult to injury, quite literally. That leaves tops. Well, not the way he wanted to get to tops, but he eventually had a dart. For 2 0. He's got to concentrate here, Adrian Lewis. He's shown the second leg. Adrian Lewis. 2 0 it is. Just have to feel for Yellow. Averaging 77. And, of course, it kind of looks similar. The force isn't there. And, as you just saw, the Follow through and release of Yellow Klassen's arm and wrist is quite quite stressful on that wrist, so he's gonna have to be careful with that, that it doesn't do any more damage. 95. Well it will be. Yeah, you're making a good point there actually, because if he doesn't get a draw here, he's out. And There'll be some people that say, well, should he not play in Cardiff 16. because he's only going to make it worse and there's no discernible benefit. But then, of course, it just throws the whole thing out of kilter, doesn't it? There's no time to get the matches replayed, which we had when Michael 55. was out with a bad back. So he's going to have to play, really, I think. I didn't care. I pulled out. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you're not well enough to play, you're not well enough to play. Well, then, that's what happened when you... We're ill with a really nasty bout of mumps. They have to expunge every match against Klassen for the records. Let's wait for next week and work that out. One, two, three left for Adrian Lewis. One, oh, three. That's better. Well, you hear up and down the country, all over the world, just play the ball. No one plays the ball. Adrian Lewis is averaging 84. He's playing Yellow Klassen here. This is to go 3-0. 
27. Yelly requires 74. Classen hasn't had a dart at a double yet. But he's going to have one now at double top. Now to the blue, Yella Clarsen nicks a leg. Lewis was first to double, he missed two, as you saw. And now it's only 2-1. And a sloppy leg here. And before you know it, it could be two each. And Adrian Lewis will be scratching his head thinking, what's going on here? 42. Adrian Lewis looks like he knows that all he has to do is keep straight, hit the odd treble, and he'll be fine if the doubles go in. Well, that's easier said than done. Well, it's an understandable frame of mind, but one that can be very difficult to extricate yourself from. As Klassen hits the first maximum of the match. My, my, my. Yellow time. 137. Well, it got Adrian's attention, didn't it? It's in again. Picked up the pace, you can see that. That can only help. 84, can he actually see the treble? Well, I don't get the counting at all because you can easily go 48 for 36 off of that. Yes. That, that would have been the best way. 68, yellow the bar, 46. Yes. Double 10. Oh, and he's level the match, yellow Klaassen. Welcome back to the Premier League from Manchester and a busy night which has seen Michael Van Gerwen win yet again, this time against James Wade. Gary Anderson ended the league hopes of Kim Hybrex with a comfortable victory and Phil Taylor showed he is still in contention with an impressive win over Peter Wright. On stage at the moment, Jella Klaassen fighting for his Premier League survival. He's got the throw here, Klaassen. 96. He's, he's up to his pace and he, he kind of fences it now, you feel. Yellow. Got a little spring in his step. Thinking, hold on, mate, you think you've got me, do you? 96. Oh, Peter Runnick was an odds-on favourite to beat Phil Taylor. Adrian Lewis, two to one on to one dispose of Klassen here, but becoming embroiled. And Gerwin winning with the minimum of fuss against James Wade, and we'll see MBG against RVB later. And Adrian, it is seventh 140 to leave tops. 100. I get the feeling he's just trying that little bit too hard now. He's not finding it easy playing yellow on this occasion. 40. Adrian, well, a shake of the wrist from Klassen as Lewis has two at double ten. Well, he will be back unless the ailing Klaassen can produce something spectacular. And he's not going to do it on this visit. So, Lewis three at 20. 77, Adrian Ricard 20. Well, oh, that's awkward. Got to move over. Double five. Adrian Lewis takes a 3 2 lead. It's not a classic of a game, but it's kind of compelling in its own way. Oh, it's a class of a game because this is what Yeller has had to deal with over the last few weeks with the, the pain of the wrist. He's relying on dragging his opponent down, isn't he? That's 
it's not a tactic of him doing that, but he's relying on his opponent getting bogged down with the fact that Klassen is struggling. Yeah. But this is definitely the worst yellow Klassen has played in a long, long time. It's not a coincidence. It's a shame, that's what it is. You don't want to see any professional sportsman not being allowed to play at their best. 62. Yeah, last week, class and average 86, but tonight, around about nine points below that. And he's still in this match, incredibly, really. Fifty-six. He's definitely still in this match now, because if he can get out in six from 2-2-9... Sixty. Hundred and six for three apiece. Tops. Eighty six. Adrian require fifty eight. Walk with that last start. That's why it went low. Double top. And the target that Classen missed, Lewis has hit, and he's two legs clear again now, and that will be a relief to the jackpot. As he looks to move into the top four in the table. If he does that, it will be MBG, Wright, Anderson and Lewis in the top four as we move into the final match of the evening. Yeah, over the next five weeks, there's going to be plenty of chopping and changing in positions. Three, four, five, six and seven, you, you think. Who will the four playoff players be? Difficult to call. 16. We saw there Adrian throw the first two quicker and then slow down for the last. Clearly hasn't found the 56. rhythm that he'd probably been doing on the practice board. 16. Oh, the frustration mounts for Adrian Lewis. But in and amongst all that, he does actually lead this match 4-2. It hasn't been easy, though, has it? No. It's been real hard work for him. Yeah. Well, he's making it look hard work at all, isn't he? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, 1-3, and if he chucks a bounce out, that'll be the O. Another there, perhaps, which would have left double 13. In any regard, he leaves a two-data. Well, he missed this in the last leg. 54. Oh, that leaves 32. For 5 2. Tops. Double 10. 36. Yelly require 32. Well, double 16. To pull within one and win a leg in 22 darts. A rare species indeed in the Premier League. I actually think that Yella Klassen should throw for the, the lower doubles because I, I do feel that he's struggling to reach. 32 would be way better to leave than tops or 36. Great point. 16. And extrapolating your point, would you throw at 19s from the get-go? Quite possibly, yes. If I knew I was struggling that, that much, just trying to force them up, yes. Staying there. 58. It's just all a bit of a mishmash of the odd good throw. 93. Consecutive 93s. Puts it within 10. 100. Really has not thrown a maximum tonight. Adrian Lewis up to press. 
in the eighth leg. Firing them in from all angles in the last three weeks. Oh, I like that. Should go 5 3 up. If you miss 24, you really want to go on the outside to give yourself a marker, but did not need it. Well, the packed house here in Manchester. Eagerly awaiting the two Dutch darting dynamos, Van Barneveld and Van Gerwen. Well, he's got to come away from that, he just can't <laughs> seriously throw at that. That really was clinging on by its fingertips to the cliff edge. 100. We'll switch. 105. Forty. Yeah, you're about 157. 57. Tops. Just cannot get there. It's a cracking effort. It's in total control of the leg for, for a change, so leaving double ten, I don't think that will bother him. Well, he's got six out of he wants. Two would do. It's back within one. As we kept saying, Adrian Lewis is making such heavy weather of this. It's looking like a man trying to wade through custard. And he only needs to throw one bad leg on throw. And this doesn't look like it's going to be it. And he would get Klaassen back with a chance of levelling the match. But that opening salvo was crucial. 137. I wonder. From a game that was producing nothing. 27. I thought, I wonder if a 180, then followed by another one, could have popped up. 100. Well, off the back of the 180, the proverbial bag of nails. Opening the door here to the Cobra. To strike, perhaps. Venomously. No. 54. Well, 140 there, which never materialised, but Lewis would have been under the cosh. Still he's might a, be, Wayne. He's only one what throw number? away from becoming absolutely embroiled, isn't he? Not panic stations yet, but believe me, it's not that far away. Bullseye 54. Double 18. Tops for a pearler. Well, this 88 would be a pearler in its own way. Oh, my. Two at double 14, and Klassen is level. Well, that's Yellow astonishing. Yellow Klassen here now has the darts to stay alive in the Premier League. And take it to Judgment Night. 48. Before that throw, he was actually averaging more than Adrian Lewis. 134. He's not really backed it up, though, has he? And at the end of this match, well, two of the all-time greats will duel on the Manchester stage as Barney takes on Mighty 100. Mike. Well, I'll tell you what, imagine if they perform like they did in that World Championship oh. semi-final. If tonight's match is half as good as that, then that semi-final will be twice as good as tonight's. Yes. Well, he's produced here arguably his best leg of the match, Adrian Lewis, because nine darts thrown to leave 127 just when he was being put under the pump. Yeah. And this is what we've seen before, Wayne, isn't it? Klaassen really struggling in legs 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll go for a 10. 87. 
Nine 140s to Adrian Lewis, just the one to Yella Klassen. For a guaranteed point. That is 6 5 to Adrian Lewis. It's quite simple. If Yella Klassen does not win this leg, he and Kim Hyrex will be eliminated. Judgment night. Well, there'd be no judgments, it would just be week nine. But if he can, somehow, 59. rescue a point. Kudos to him. 135. Well, he just hasn't had the fuel. Yellow class and got back to five all 100. with that clean 88 checkout. Had the darts in the 11th, couldn't do anything with them. And Lewis now looking to coast home. Well, I say coast home, scramble home to a 7 5 success. Oh, it was a cracking 60, that second dart. 100. Otherwise, it was all becoming a bit messy and a bit scrappy again. But from 5 all, Adrian Lewis has produced two real quality legs. This for a 7-5 win. Not done yet. 16. Well, if... Well, even if a tongue would leave 120, and Lewis now three in hand. Double four. Double two. Good grief. Is Judgment Knight going to be back on again? Because Yellow Class in here, if he can hit trouble 20 with one of his first two, will get a shot. That is a darting disaster, though, and a huge relief to Adrian Jackpot Lewis. 29. Well, talking of relief, I think he'll only be relieved if he can score four points. Does not want to go low again. That is a quality dart, really is. Adrian Lewis wraps the game up. It wasn't a classic, we know that. He beats Yellow Class in 7-5. Unfortunately, injured Yellow will be eliminated along with Kim Hybrex. They will play next week, but Judgment Night will just be called Week 9, I'm afraid, because... Yella Klassen and Kim Hybrex are eliminated from the Premier League. Commentary for this match comes from Wayne Mardle and Stuart Pike. But first, Dave Clark and Rock Hand. Manchester Rocky, the Dutch Masters, Barney against Van Gerwen. Perfect Thursday night entertainment, Rod Harrington. Doesn't get much better. I mean, the noise, as you can hear, has gone up several decibels. And they're anticipating a real close match. I mean, Barney the last few weeks, the one thing that he has been really good at is his high checkouts, and you feel that he's going to have to carry on with those and fight them against Michael. Michael should lead the scoring power, but Barney, he doesn't give up anymore. He's going to fight you for every dart. A win for Barney really tightens things up at the top of the table as well. Oh, it certainly will. I mean, it has tightened up with what's happened this evening, you know. Yelly and uh, Kim going out, but the rest of them are fighting for those four places, and a win here for Barney really puts him in great contention. Fond memories of the World Championship semi-final. Wayne Marlon and Stuart Pike in commentary. Well, Michael Van Gerwen Sixth. made darting history earlier tonight with that victory over James Wade, taking his a beaten run in TV nice. games to 44 matches. A victory here over Barney will put him three points clear at the top of the Premier League table. Van Barneveld needs to win to go back 85. into the top four. All thoughts of uh, all the emotion and the romanticism of Rotterdam a week ago. Oh, history. It's all about this Dutch darting duel to round off night eight here in Manchester. Yeah, this was the night that Michael van Gerwen was... 42. Well, he's going to play two games. He won his first game against James Wade, 7-4. Averaged 104 in it, 8 180s. That put him top of the table because Peter Wright lost to Phil Taylor. So it could be 
by the end of the night, if he wins this, the absolute perfect evening for him. But there's a lot of darts to be played yet, because these two, when they go at it, it's an absolute joy to watch. Well, it looks like they're going at it from the off. And Barnevel, can he carry on where he left off? That magnificent win, riding on a cloud of constant emotion in beating Gary Anderson in Rotterdam. More than doable for MVG. Tops now. Well, with the help of Raymond's 30th 180 in the Premier League. He now wants double ten to win the first leg. Michael Woolfield just that little bit annoyed. When, when you go for tops, you just want to reach it. You want to get there. Not feel like you've pushed it or tugged it. Just has that feeling, doesn't it, of the, the Grand Master against the man who wants to be the next Dutch Grand Master. And is well on his way to, to being so. Yeah. With a hype in Holland when these two are scheduled to play is, is incredible. So you don't get really bad games because they, they know the pressure's on them. But they can cope, can't they? 78. If, just if, RVB can repeat what he did last week against Gary, how special could this be? 100. Van oh, Gerwen under pressure, slow start. 140. 3 0 down Ready against well, Taylor, came back to win. One. Could find himself 2 0 behind early on here against Van Barneveld. Will he go for it? Of course he will. Clearly, just doesn't want to let Michael have any more throws than he needs. For 2-0. Double eight. Is it awkward? It is. Oh, what a good dart. What a good dart, that was right so through the flight. He's looking comfortable. Welcome back to Manchester for week eight of the Premier League and the all-Dutch clash between Michael van Gerwen and Raymond van Barneveld. The older man has taken the opening two legs. This is now the third. He just loves playing Michael van Gerwen. Switches him on. 96. Well, since he beat van Gerwen at the World Championship in 2016, that epic last 16 match, hasn't won in five against Michael, but it's five perfect darts. It's six. Perfect dance for Raymond van Barneveld. I wonder. 96. Raymond Drake Wilde, 141. Barney, 2006. Hit the first nine data. He needs double 12. 199. Oh, he hit nine darters in 2010 and 2006. Well, I think all our hearts no, missed the collective B. We thought it was going in. Yeah. No score. Well, no arm done. But a miss again. 57. Right, well, he'll, he'll try again. We yeah, all so dared to like dream, right dared a darting dream well, that Manchester would first. see its yeah. first Premier League nine darter. We've seen them in Bournemouth, in Aberdeen, at Wembley, twice yeah, memorably from Phil Taylor, in Aberdeen again, in London, and 
in Belfast, Lewis against Wade, and, and here he goes again, majestically. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And again, Raymond. This is how he threw against Anderson. 57. Can he be the man who ends the Van Gerwen run in TV tournaments? One day shy of 180 days. 3 0 down last week, 3 0 down this week. Game shot on the fourth leg, Michael Van Gerwen. Like Raymond is last week, first. Michael. On. One. Seven for the next eight legs. Can he do that against a rampant Raymond? And he was a hair's breadth away. 93. Barney at the moment. 59. Dropped out of the top four after the wins for Messrs Anderson, Lewis and Taylor. Big moments in this match right now. Because for all the dominance, Raymond is now nearly a ton behind. And it could be a break of throw in the matter of a minute or so. 60. His lead would be cut. But Michael just throwing a few wayward ones. 123. Back up to number eight in the world and proving tonight, as he did a week ago in Rotterdam, just why. And how good he, he can still be. And is. Another one of those. 90. Down there or bullseye? Yeah, of course it's going for the bullseye. Pressure now. Got to move over. That's brilliant. And Michael Van Gerwen knows. Tell by the reaction. That was a real big dart. 3 2 and then have the throw for a level game or go 4 1 down. Woof. Yeah. That's how games change. Especially after the 170 16. from Barney to lead double 16. But only 60 from Van Gerwen to kick off this sixth leg. Intriguing, isn't it? Barney not finding it as he was in the third and fourth legs. Give this man a chance, he will annihilate you. 135. Barney's hit more 180s than anybody else in the Premier League so far. Tally up to 33. Yeah. Could be another. 140. Fifty-eight. Just a few sloppy shots from Michael that we haven't really seen that often in the last five years. <laughs> 96. Last TV defeat to Taylor in the final of the Champions League. 140. This is the eighth televised tournament since. And still he goes on, but is that 44 match unbeaten run under pressure? Looks like it. 134. Great switch in from RVB. Tops. He reacts when he knows that he's hurt his opponent. That's what he does. That's not for our benefit. That's for the benefit of his opponent thinking, oh my word, no. 60. Darting deja vu. 
3 0 down against Taylor, 1 7 4, 3 0 down against Barneveld. Level game now. And he's up in his average, whilst Barnes is dropping. That was a trend of last week as well. He finds a way of getting on top. And he finds a way of making you try too hard and doubt yourself as he grows in stature. Now averaging 103 and a half. Yet to hit a 180, Van Gerwen, but crucially... 100. Has hit nine 140s to Van Barnevel's four, so scoring-wise, he's very much in it, isn't he? He's effectively taken the throw here. And Raymond's just not looking as smooth as he was early on. For the lead. Tops. Makes it look so easy, doesn't he? What a late finish. Two dark 90 finish. Ball tops. Thanks very much. Four consecutive legs. Van Gerwen hits the front. Yeah, it's just not fair. It's too much no, talent it's... for one man to have. Spread it round, Michael. Come on. One hundred and thirty-four. Let's see what Barney's got in the tank after that blistering start. One hundred and forty. Tenth one forty for Van Gerwen. Barney missing double twelve for the nine data earlier on. Yeah, since then, Michael has just got better and better, though, hasn't he? Whilst Barney's making a bit of a rally now. Looking to leave, 1-3-2. He's 1-70. Michael's throw under pressure. Got to hit a big treble and does. Another one would be excellent for Raymond. Michael here require 170. Loves a 170 finish. He loves a 170 finish. 145. He really does, doesn't Raymond, he? Raymond, you require 127. It's up Barney's 156. Treble 17. Bullseye. 102. Michael, you require 25. A little shake of the head from Van Barneveld. Oh, he's missed the big nine. Just one dart at double four. 17. Well, you don't see and that very often. 25. No, you do not. To beat Michael Van Gerwen, you have to take these chances. Ah, oh, brilliant from RVB. Welcome back to Manchester in the final game of the night, Van Gerwen against Van Barneveld. It is all level through the first eight legs. This is now the ninth. It was like a look of self-disgust on the look of Michael Van Gerwen's face when Barney at that double eight. It's a great thing about darts. 60. In the matter of seconds, things just change completely. And then... A minute or so later, they change back. The ebbs and flows of world-class sport. Takes Michael Van Gerwen down to 301. Van Barneveld here on 236. With the power to add as he looks to retake the lead. 96. That leaves Barney on a finish of 140. Michael 50. sprays them around Raymond the board. 140. Another 60. Well, 20 leaves tops. Michael Whoa. way back on 244. Four. Uh, from 244, four, he hasn't made much ground in that so Barney here looking at tops to go ahead don't forget that Gerwin have darts for a 5-3 lead and total control different game now it really is yes 
Michael had a real stinker of a leg there. 100. I think he was clearly effective, wasn't he, by the way that he mucked up the, the leg before. I mean, you know, when nice we're talking five. about, you don't see that very often. It is a rarity in darts out of all the players. They all make mistakes, of course, but to see Michael van Gerwen miss a, a number like 100. that. And, of course, it was the losing of the leg, wasn't it? A bit of it, the double four, no drama. He's got to fight now. 140. Well, Van Gerwen a winner over James Wade in the first match of the night, but under real pressure here as Raymond Van Barneveld hits a fifth maximum. 95. Well, that was a real poor Raymond second and third from Mike Ruby. Disappointed not to leave tops. Barney for a point. Double 14. 93. You could see the wire move. 54-24. Tops. 58. Remedy Clark's 28. Oh. Michael Van Gerwen. Barney for a point. What a dart that was. <laughs> right in the bottom of the bed. And he's won three legs on the spin. Van Gerwen missed darts for 5 3. Barney has a point. And Raymond van Barneveld is now a leg away from bringing an end to Michael van Gerwen's unbeaten run on TV of 44 matches. 140. There we see. So, so tight. Really is from Safety. seventh to third. Not a lot in it at all. Everything to play for week after week. That's why the Premier League's so, so good to watch. <laughs> it's superb. From Wade in seventh to Wright in second, three points separating second to seventh. 80. How unfortunate. Is that that little bit of luck that Michael needed? Well, he's jumped all over that. That's his first. Can Van Gerwen rescue a point? Double 14. This would be for a 12 dart leg. There's Raymond nodding. Composing himself. He really is taking his time on this. Look at this. This is the old kind of Bob Anderson style. Stare it down and then get it. Stare it down and then get it. 39 for double 16 to beat Michael Van Gerwen. 99. Michael Van 28. Games won and lost in millimetres as Van Gerwen doesn't make mistake this time. 6-5, Raymond Van Barneveld had one dart to end Van Gerwen's run. Now Van Gerwen has the darts to make it 45 unbeaten games on television. Well, that 1-3-1 one, one effort from Raymond was just sublime to compose yourself like that. 100. Just missing the double 16 on the outside wire. Terrific tension here in Manchester. Eight and a half thousand enjoying every second of this. 100. That's why Barney is the, the champ he is, because he, he can settle himself down and know what it takes to do special things. 
A lovely dart from Barney. A 140 here. 100. Well, you see the roll of the eyes. He'd have liked the lie of that first dart as well. Got to get a treble. 50. Oh my! Oh Raymond my! 167. Six darts from here, Raymond. I wonder. It'll look at. Nice. Well, that'll do. That'll do. 148. Can Van Gerwen produce another miracle shot? to maintain his unbeaten record. It's all about the first start. Nice and high in the bed. No. Nope. What's he going to leave? 140. He's left eight. Drama! To beat the world champ, he needs double eight. Game shot. And Michael Van Gerwen's history-making 44-match unbeaten run in TV tournaments is over. And it just had to be his old adversary, Raymond Van Barneveld, who ends the run of the world champ. Van Gerwen beaten for the first time in this year's Premier League. And Raymond Van Barneveld is right back in the mix as he changes the place in the top four. What a game! Van Barneveld beats Van Gerwen, 7-5.